and then coming to the next slide uh, uh, these are uh, the different uh, what are the current technology in available in autonomous driving what are developments occurring in uh, near futures okay uh, in the beginning of 2020 the state of autonomous vehicle is uh, achieved the capability capability without diver or with a human supervisor okay under some strictly defined conditions and then level 4 or ai autonomous has reached among many unforeseen challenges for the technology developers uh, I'll, i'll like i mean coming slide i'll uh, discuss what kind of technology challenges what of innovation is covering and then uh, and then a lot of studies happening i think a level to achieve level 4 full autonomous uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's very difficult task to achieve level 5 uh I'll, i'll i'll in coming slide i'll let you know that what of kind of uh, challenges we are facing and then the current uh, stage of the autonomous driving is a level 2 okay wherein human driver is still is required to monitor and judge when they take over the control so for example is test start of pilot so where is in our system uh, uh, like find any uh, emergency or any failures at a software side it will throw a warning or it will give an alert to the driver so that driver can take a control and then he will will try to mitigate the uh, you know uh, the accidents and then one more major challenge towards a fully autonomous is the environment environment since we need to uh, uh, you know control lot of uh, uh, culture and weather rules and uh, weather so will greatly influence the level of autonomy the vehicles can safely achieve and performance do what if if the climates are changing uh, rapidly so for that we have to uh, get the more precise environments i mean sensors uh, while uh, like i mean uh, even the sensor different sensor is having its own merits and demerits so uh, during this uh, bad weather camera and leader was uh, uh, very bad uh, to get the data but in a radar it's very good uh, even in the environment uh, whatever the climate changes but uh, uh, the radar is very bad at the classification of the objects it won't tells you the what kind of object is there it will tells you uh, where the object is defined uh, the, how much distance it's defined so so that's the reason in autonomous driving uh, we are uh, we are facing, uh, like placing all the sensors camera radar and radar uh, autonomous driving we will uh, use that one uh, uh, sensor fusion concepts sensor fusion is a uh, technology wherein uh, we'll get a uh, uh, sources from the different sensors and then uh, we'll use a lot of uh, sensor fusion techniques one sense uh, one technique is uh, uh, kalman filtering in kalman filtering basically based upon the control uh, uh, the noise and then mitigation uh, uh, like sensor fusion is basically it will uh, take the multiple sources and then it will try to give the more confidence data to the next level i mean into the uh, you know ego vehicle uh, perception okay uh, yeah and then i told you the sensor is all undergoing the technological development to improve the performance and increase efficiency uh, the more st- innovation uh, things are a leader basically leader is uh, will get the 3d point cloud it's having uh, its own advantages compared to the camera and radar uh, sorry radar and then uh, uh, coming to the current st- stage of the lidar currently we have a mechanical scanning system for that uh, we'll have relatively bulk expensive uh, lidar sense uh, lidar sensors for that and uh, like innovation is happening with the solid state lidar so that uh, uh, like lidar will uh, lead can an chip like it will reduce the bulky and the solid state there the uh, in sense are going in the other side and then uh, another vital source of information current autonomous vehicles are highly definition maps if we define highly definition maps so that we can get the uh, like a, uh, different kind of maps to to the planning so that it can it can plan precisely then uh, for combining data multiple sources i already explained sensor fusion so we'll uh, couple this all this uh, sources of the sense and then uh, the more confident uh, and then more uh, confident data 
you can send to the path planning and motion control okay and mapping also will use a, another concept as ai and uh, uh, artificial intelligence so wherein here we can use a lot of artificial intelligence concepts to get the uh, high definition maps and then to get the uh, to perceive precise more environment because we have a lot of this environment because the, the sensors was uh, uh, not suffice to uh, get more confidential uh, i mean the the more uh, accuracy data okay and then and then uh, coming to the uh, the other uh, uh, you know uh, innovation uh, uh, i think the uh, as i told the uh, the software stack is uh, because it has to uh, like sorry it has to do lot of uh, uh, you know calculations and lot of uh, complex diving decisions we required uh, uh, computation uh, uh, devices computation technologies with we are using the lot of innovation as having uh, gpus and tpus tensor processing units and then graphical processing units in algorithms uh, and uh, and then for the vehicle to everything like i mean this is the one more uh, uh, innovation was having v2x communication uh, so that wherein uh, the the different uh, road users can communicate through the v2x and then uh, uh, based upon their communication basically it will connect it to one cloud and then we'll get the you know uh, we'll communicate the data between the road users and then we'll try to mitigate the uh, actually this concept is usually uh, required for level four and level five it's still going on innovation so one is uh, through wi-fi standard we can uh, communicate and then cellular is v2x 5g like uh, it's already a lot of uh, innovation is uh, working on, on 5g like i mean uh, through v2x concept we can uh, communicate uh, between the uh, like uh, road users so coming to the autonomous driving system currently this many driving systems are available so the lane change assist what kind of features is available lane de uh, departure warning collision avoidance system pedestrian detection uh, detection emergency brake assist and adaptive cruise control cross traffic alerts blind spot detection this stuff uh, features and system is available currently so, sorry what is happening my mouse okay uh, uh, i think that's all about a brief introduction about uh, autonomous driving uh, this webinar is uh, to just give the uh, uh, you know nuts and bolts of the autonomous driving uh, just basics but if you want to learn more specific to autonomous driving a lot of topics are there because I just cover the basic uh, i think uh, you have to uh, go through the uh, techniques but this webinar is only restricted to base of the autonomous driving uh, hope i cover all the basics of the autonomous driving so coming to the autonomous driving uh, we, we can find the typical job roles this kind of job roles so to coming to the development side we have ad and adas algorithm developers wherein in the algorithm development so we need to as i explained the perception planning and the controls three verticals are there uh, the one is a perception development and then planning development and control developments so three three kind of developers is needed in our, uh, uh, this domain and then coming to the next domain it's a valid because a lot of algorithms are developing a lot of innovations are going on uh, in the autonomous driving so we need to thoroughly validate all adas and ads adas basically uh, coming to, uh, uh, compared to the development so, so, so uh, coming to the uh, uh, you know the conventional uh, uh, car uh, like system validation ad adas algorithm validation uh, uh, like require a lot of uh, a lot of skill sets and then it it's it's uh, currently industry is needed this type of skill sets uh, adas and adas uh, ad and adas algo validation because it requires a lot of uh, skill sets and then a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, technology is needed uh, to coming to the validation we have uh, two type three types of validations uh, one is at software level one is at uh, hardware level so in software level we have two types of software so wherein in algorithms uh, 
uh, in a component uh, component is a combination of different inuits different parts of the uh, features uh, that that, that, that that's a uh, different inuits alone we can test it in w4 uh, stable 6 means uh, we can evaluate entire component that uh, this kind of qualification testing and then hill testing is a hardware level so that is a different concept and then uh, we'll use a hardware uh, rig and then we can uh, it's kind of uh, we can uh, it's kind of we can replicate our whole uh, vehicle into this uh, hill rig and then we can uh, we can test our uh, scenarios with this uh, hill tester and the domain is safety as if uh, autonomous vehicle was uh, uh, directly related to the road accidents and then the the property and environment so we need to mitigate uh, we need to have the lot of safety standards and a lot of safety standards has to be uh, followed so the safety domain we have the active safety domain function safety domain passive safety domain active safety domain means uh, like uh, this is a uh, you know sensor uh, like uh, before uh, uh, like crash if you want to mitigate the uh, uh, stop the mitigation before crash uh, that domain is active safety domain active safety domain basically it will uh, uh, involves with a lot of uh, uh, we discussed is active safety uh, like i mean it will perceive the environment and it will plan and control and then uh, in order to crash the different i mean like in order to stop the different uh, uh, like different crashes uh, uh, we need to uh, like follow different active safety domains i mean as i explained a lot of features are there so we need to plan according to the active safety domain and then function safety domain uh, is kind of uh, it is involved a lot of uh, you know uh, issues like in a autonomous driving uh, stack also involves a lot of ecus so what if, if uh, a lot of malfunction is happening between the ecus uh, the function safety is a uh, the kind of different domain. Uh, I think it's uh, it's not needed to cover it now. And then fastest safety domain. What if if uh, the crash is happened? The fact active safety domain is not it's not mitigate the crash. If the crash is happened, so what what we had to do mitigate in the fastest uh, For example, uh, the airbags. Uh, it will mitigate the impact, and then it will uh, lock the uh, wheels. Uh, to go further uh, after this and then it will uh, call the nearby ambulance services so that's a passive safety domain so now comes to how we can get into these domains actually ADAS and ADS domain uh, like uh, actually in AD and ADAS uh, industry needed a lot of experts because a lot of innovation as i explained a lot of innovation is happening a lot of mitigation has to be planned and a lot of uh, uh, you know accuracy models has to be developed algorithm has to be developed uh, the first foremost uh, uh, domain is uh, other than development if you want to get in that domain we need to get the expertise and knowledge in autonomous driving domains like uh, perception planning and controls if you want to drive through in a perception domain uh, you require deep understanding and the implementation of the different uh, sense of perception algorithms in object detection, object tracking, and object prediction, and ego vehicle mapping and sensor prediction algorithms. And then roles and responsibilities mainly that to, to develop the perception algorithms, development based upon the algorithm requirements, skill sets it's needed, expert level knowledge and debug skills and C and C Python, and then uh, the statistics, uh, statistics knowledge, and then image processing, computer uh, vision and then mission learning and AA to get into perception domain. Uh, and then uh, 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 an AD ADAS tools development, uh, uh, like, uh, sorry, uh, to develop ADAS features development, uh, we required uh, knowledge on uh, MATLAB, Simulink, and target link. These are, uh, we'll use the planning and the controls algorithm development we required matlab simulink target link and then c c plus plus and basic verification idea i mean whatever you developed you need to verify the the units which is working as per the logic or not and then coming to the another sector it's a tools development so very lot of development is happening and under adas and ad if developers need a lot of tools i mean to visualize the data and uh, are to uh, to get uh, any support from any other tools 
so for that it has to, uh, the person has to understand the basic needs of the development team for the debugging purpose or to visualize the data uh, for that skill set is needed uh, c sharp c c++ python and machine learning concepts and then coming to the next uh, uh, domain it's a uh, uh, validations domain i think in validation domain uh, still uh, 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 experts are needed in adas and ad uh, because the conventional validation is different than the adas and uh, ad and adas uh, validation we require a lot of skill sets in uh, ad and adas domain in that case uh, uh, like person has to understand uh, what is ad and adas but of different stacks and kind of different technology like i mean perception and then uh, planning and control so in he has to understand that what mean perception what kind of things are needed to evaluate uh, the perception algorithm the same things happen with the planning and uh, control so for that he has to need the testing knowledge and then he has to get the domain knowledge to the autonomous driving basically roles and uh, responsibilities a unit tester as i told uh, parts of the components has to be tested with the unit testing he has to understand the software detail design that is a process actually industry was using we have to be given uh, like requirements based upon that requirements we need to design the test cases and then we need to qualify the software the software testing we required software requirements the high level software requirements based on the requirements we have to design the scenarios and then we need to test our qualification uh, in order to get that uh, the skill sets is needed in testing functional testing tools called tpd bdc embedded coder in the currently industry was using uh, and then uh, and then sw6 and then qualification uh, testing uh, uh, these are the scenario uh, scenario based testing uh, for this we, we, uh, the person has to be thoroughly understand the car maker and uh, car sim and then python also little bit python is needed to evaluate the uh, criteria okay coming to the uh, okay i already explained uh, uh, like for uh, qualification testing we required a uh, car maker knowledge at sim so maybe uh, i'll just give the brief introduction about the the simulation tool car maker so car maker is uh, it's a virtual testing tool a uh, uh, virtual uh, tool so where in a virtual environment we can precisely uh, uh, create our uh, 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 like you know real time scenarios uh, the real time to test all the scenarios in real time we require lot of effort and lot of infra cost and then and then we require of, uh, you know we can't test uh, uh, so many scenarios in a public road right so in that case we require, uh, we, we require the simulation tool to uh, evaluate the uh, so many scenarios we can simulate uh, uh, within less time compared to the real time and then you know uh, the close track testing so we can uh, by using the car maker tool we can precisely model our own real time scenarios okay and then uh, these are the car maker uh, uh, windows as required uh, it's uh, there it's a uh, ipz uh, like uh, the scene of the cars are moving and then here is parking different parkings are there different of uh, here this picture is different of like different gui's uh, i mean car maker windows we can see it uh, the uh, car maker is basically open integration and test platform that can that can be applied through development process kind of model to software to hardware and vehicle in loop model means uh, like i mean uh, uh, currently in uh, autonomous uh, driving uh, the planning and perception has uh, uh, like developing the models in the matlab model so that we can integrate even in the model in the loop in the car maker software means we actual model we can convert to the automation auto auto code generation basically if, uh, the finally the generated code can be sit in the ecu so the before into hardware we can even uh, test the software with the car maker and then even we can test with the hardware in the car maker and then vehicle in the loop also we can test in a car maker okay car maker basically in order to uh, achieve this task car maker includes a complete model environment which is con uh, consist of the driver modules and then the traffic modules and then the road modules okay using the model environment one can build complete and realistic test scenarios with the, with a minor effort 
because it's having a lot of modules at the uh, the driver module and then traffic modules and road modules special actions such as system intervention and driver activities can be modeled uh, intuitively in the car maker by using the maneuvers basically uh, coming to the real world uh, situations if driver has to take the control if driver has to steer it or driver has to uh, press the throttle those kind of actions we can uh, uh, model using the maneuvers car makes actions into through maneuvers okay uh, along with simulation environment we have a lot of uh, uh, advantage uh, tools kind of automation we can automate our test case and visualization uh, actual visualization while running the test cases and then uh, uh, and then it will interact with the it, it uh, we can uh, interface with the third party tools such as python and even the other tools third party tool is a central integration platform with a support standards and then uh, car maker uh, will allows you uh, will have three visualization tools one is ipc control ipc movie and instruments in the ipc control basically we can monitor the application interfaces i mean if you want to check the uh, any interface whether it's really going that value or not you uh, with the with the current scenario we can uh, the interfaces and we can check it and then ipc movie currently uh, in ipc movie we can check uh, the visual perspective whether the how the car is moving how the environment is placed so whether is uh, the car was uh, moving as intended whether is car is moving as intended trajectory or not the instruments basically we can check uh, the current uh, speed the instrument clusters what is happening in the instruments uh, the, uh, uh, this having uh, the car maker is having this many visualization tools so and it can it can deliver the reliable information important parameters and data models and the individual test scenario at any point during the simulation during the simulation we can use the, we can import the parameters and then we can export the parameters to debug the scenarios okay and then yeah uh, this is a uh, brief introduction about the car maker tool maybe i can give one demo on uh, acc so as explained acc uh, like in car maker we can design this roads uh, like what kind of uh, how many lanes are required what are the lane markings and then uh, the ego vehicle motion and then the ego vehicle how much velocity it has to go what is the traffic vehicle so how much distance the traffic vehicle is placed how much uh, velocity it is going so based upon the selection this is the ipc control we can monitor the uh, 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 you know the signals so basically just a minute wait a minute uh, yeah so basically this scenario is just uh, traffic following so based upon the traffic movement uh, it will just follow the based upon the driver selection it's a longitudinal assistance features see uh, ego vehicle was going 95 kph okay see target distance is reached slowing whenever distance is reached the so driver has selected the uh, uh, you know thing and if it is uh, if it is a uh, pick up it is uh, slow down it will try to break it if it is uh, accelerated then again uh, our ego vehicle uh, will start moving i mean uh, with the uh, uh, given velocity i mean the, the selected velocity speed limit is 100 kph do not accelerate it if speed limit is uh, achieved it won't accelerate it, it will just follow the uh, traffic object because the speed limit has changed so to maintain the distance uh, the if driver has selected the to maintain the distance between the ego vehicle and uh, traffic vehicle it will try to maintain it. in that cases it will decelerate to maintain the distance and then once if the the maintain distance is maintained the car was uh, started moving the traffic object it will try to move that it will try to accelerate it i think hope uh, this demo is uh, like given uh, uh, like basics of the car maker i mean the demo 
the next uh, sorry where the mouse is not uh, with that i think uh, i am done with my presentation